and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show this typical galaxy dress effect. This is at least the process that I would use to create it. I've got a simple dress image and a simple galaxy and a white background. Let me copy them and I keep the originals just in case we need them later on. I put them to the bottom so we lower our white background and we work on the two copies. So here's the white background, the dress and the galaxy is on top. I've scaled them, you can press Shift S for the scale tool and do that. Well, once you're done, go to your dress image and then use the path tool to create an outline. And the first step, just go over it with left clicks. We don't have to worry about curves. Use the space bar to move around in the image. And I zoom in and out, holding control and then I use the mouse wheel. When I've arrived at the starting point, I can hold control. I'm just going to change the cursor and then just left click on the starting point and it's going to close your shape. Now the next step is to create the curves. You can just hover over the lines and then left click drag. You can adjust the angle with the handles that pop up. And I think we're somewhat fine here, at least for this example that should be good. Next up, right click on it, go to select and use form path. Now we've got our selection. Then right click on your dress layer, use add layer mask, 
make sure it's set to selection and click on add. You want to add the same layer mask to your galaxy, but maybe you want to reposition it first. So it is going to appear right now. You can see it in our selection. So make sure you've got a good position. You may also want to rotate it up front, something like this, scale it up and down, whatever you need here. But make sure you do that and position it somewhat correctly before you do the selection so that you don't get things messed up here. But once you're done, right click on this galaxy layer as well and add a layer mask. Once again, make sure it's set to selection, then click on add. Let's go to select none. Then we click on our dress layer, put it to the top position and then set the blending mode to screen. So you should have something like this here. Then go back to the dress. So you don't want to be on a layer mask, you want to be on a dress layer. Go to colors, threshold, and now you have to adjust the sliders. So everything that's black now in the threshold will appear as this galaxy thanks to the blending mode. So the screen that we've set it to. I confirm we are okay. And this is the process that I would use to create this galaxy dress effect in game. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.